Hey guys, Tenzif here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you um, my top five Cydia applications for the Apple Touch and or iPhone. Um, sorry about that black mouse um, next uh, in the middle of my screen. Um, it, that's what Titan VNC does. I don't think I can get rid of it, so um, just bear with me. All right, so the first one is Winterboard. Now, Winterboard has just recently had an update, so it's a bit different. Um, it used to just be all the themes, but now you have Hide Winterboard, Debug Logging, Summerboard Mode, Select Themes, and Optimize Themes. So, um, just go to Select Themes. Um, yeah, and um, these are the themes I have ch uh, currently, I am currently using. Um, so, as you can see, they're checked. Well, which means they're like I'm using them and um so you just type a theme you want in Cydia search bar and by the way I forgot to mention this before but you will need a jailbroken Apple Touch or iPhone alright so now what most people don't know about Winterboard is that it's layered which means um if you want a certain slider for a certain lock screen that already has a slider you just put that slider on top of the lock screen with a slider and then um so you move them by doing yeah sorry by up and down like that and um by getting those three the uh, the holding those three lines and then moving your thumb or finger up and down um so if you put this only thing with the slider on top of the lock screen with a slider that slider on top will replace the slider with the lock screen. It's kind of hard to explain, but I hope you got me. Alright, so, that's Winterboard. Um, just search it up in CDO. Alright, so, the next one is SB Settings. S -B -S -E -T -T -I -N -G -S. So, to get SB Settings, you, uh, to um, activate SB Settings, you just slide your finger across the status bar horizontally. Alright, so as you can see um sb settings has just popped up um so my sb settings is themed with glass client and my main theme i'm using right now is called witoken w-h-i-t-o-k-e-n and um the the big icons on the side um which are here yeah uh, see um that big box thing um is elliptical icons just search elliptical or with token in Google and you can have like a tutorial on how to get it. Alright, so this is SB settings. It you can it's like basically like a smaller um smaller settings page but it's cooler I think. Alright, so there's Bluetooth pro uh, pri brightness processes SSH Wi Fi and then the, down the bottom there's more refresh dock respring and power. <sighs> Alright, so you can enable and disable Bluetooth, as you can see, it just popped up there. You can enable and disable SSH. You can enable and disable Wi-Fi, as you can see, my status bar is gone. I mean, my Wi-Fi bar is gone, and then my Wi-Fi IP address is not available. And if you tap it again, it comes back up. And um, you can change the brightness, but you can't see it on real uh, type VNC. And um. Yeah, you can go to more refresh, dark respring, and power. Just search that. Do that for yourself. Um, so that is SB settings. The next one is iFile, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial in my next video on how to change your lock screen sliders text. And for that, you need iFile. But iFile is five dollars in Cydia. But in my next video, I'm going to be showing you um how to get iFile free on Cydia by adding a source so just stay tuned for that so um, iFile so you just go to iFile after you get it I-F-I-L-E and um, what iFile is is um, it's like WinSCP for your Apple Touch or iPhone if you know what that means so, so it's like SSH actually on your Apple Touch or iPhone okay so that's iFile basically and you can rotate it but I I didn't do it there the how much have we done now 
six, uh, we've done three. All right. The next one is categories. C A T E G O R I E S E. I C A T E G O R I E S. Sorry about that. I can't spell today. Um. So manage. You after you get after you install it, you're just gonna want to go into manage folders, and then sorry, and then edit at the top right, and then top right add a folder. Just call it anything, and then you press add. But I'm not going to. And then you press done, and then you go into your certain folder. And then you press add and you can put all your apps in that folder. Now, your um your fold folder will be grey if you don't have a token um or elliptical. So it'll just be a grey folder as you see here, like apps just be that. Um but since I have mine themed up with a token, it's apps um view all in a little arrow. So yeah. So that's basically it for that. Um, the last one is iBlank. So let me go to iBlank. Now, what iBlank allows you to do is create um, book like bookmark uh, apps. It's like you can't actually go into it, but it just spaces your other apps out. It's like an invisible shaped application. I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, so, as you can see, it says select how many I blank icons you want to create, and you just press a number. Um, and I'm going to show you what I blanks it are. So you just hold down an icon, and then as you well, my Titan VNC is like freaking out, but I hope you can kind of see the blanks. But yeah, that's basically it. All right, that's it from me. Um, please race. Oh wait, no, thanks to the new YouTube player. Thanks a lot, YouTube. No offense, YouTube. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.